Hey guys, it's Shane again. I'm um, bringing you a review today on this knife right here. This is the Real Steel Sakura. It says all black, gives you the part and stock number there. Um, I just received this knife. I did not purchase it. I actually won it on a giveaway on Neves Knives and uh, got it in a few days ago. I have already opened this and checked it out. Excuse me. So uh, let's get in this box and see what we got. Comes with a uh, fairly nice little uh, microfiber cloth here. It's not very big. No, it looks big on screen, but um, just to give you an idea, it's about the size of my hand. But it is nice. It's soft. Uh, you know, it'll definitely clean a knife. Clean some glasses, screen on your phone, whatever. Um, comes with, you know, just your standard fare, uh, exploded view, in case you want to disassemble the knife, and some warranty information and safety stuff. Safety first and then teamwork. And here's the knife. This is the Real Steel Sakura. Um, I have already handled this knife previous to recording this video. Um, this is a fairly small knife. It, I'm having a hard time, guys, with uh, getting a feel for how big a knife is by looking up specs. Because, you know, in most people's definition, um, you know, this would be what they would consider a medium-sized knife. I mean, it does... I can get all four fingers on it. I don't have an issue there. You know, there's only one position I can't choke up, but um, I mean, it fits in my hand just fine. Um, but I still feel like it's small. Maybe that's just a personality flaw in me because uh, I am a man child and I like big, scary looking knives. Um, but anyway, let's get into this one and what you're, what you're getting for your money here. Um, it has these textured G10 scales, as you can see here. Got some grooves in them there. Um, I do kind of, I like this this black with this flat bronze. I'm glad they didn't go shiny on that. It would try to kind of make it look like gold. That would have been, I don't know, uh, that would have been cheap looking to me. So I, I like the flat bronze on the black. It gives it just a little bit of pop on an all black knife. Um, just got a standard bent metal pocket clip. However, this pocket clip, as you can see, they did mill out the scales. So the pocket clip is recessed, and they also used flathead screws instead of button heads. So there's absolutely nothing there to get hung on the seam of your pants. You know, unless you're wearing Carhartt work pants, and no knife goes in those very good. But um, yeah, excellent job on designing this pocket clip. It's good and deep carry. That's literally this right here is all you're going to have sticking out of your pocket. So uh, good job on the pocket clip. This backspacer is... Uh, Backspacer is kind of uh, an anomaly. I'll tell you why. This knife, it being all black, it's, it's hard to tell. This knife is an integral. This is one piece. This entire backspacer is one piece of, man, I wish I could get an angle. You could see that better, of bent steel. So it's just, it's C-shaped like this. So it's an integral Integral liners, one piece of bent steel. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before, but um, you know, it's 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 a it's a cool touch. Something new. I've never seen anybody do that before. I'm not saying they haven't. They very well could have, and I've just not seen it. Um, it's got about a three inch K110 blade. Um, you guys know that I I wouldn't consider myself a knife nerd because I'm not uh, well enough edu educated on it yet but I am a knife, in, or knife steel enthusiast. This is K110. K110 is Bowler's example of D2. So um, take from that what you will. This knife is made in China. China typically doesn't have an awesome reputation of doing very good D2. Um, D2 is a great steel. I'm sure Bowler K110 is a great steel. If it's heat treated correctly, you just don't typically get that out of a Chinese budget knife. So I don't know anything about, you know, the uh, edge holding capabilities of, of this steel. I have cut some stuff with this knife. I, I will say this, it coming from a professional knife sharpener, Jared Neves, I, I almost have a hard time believing no longer than he had this, that he took the time to sharpen it. But if this is the factory edge, it is one of the best factory edges I've ever experienced. This thing is razor sharp right out of the box. Um, I'll find out from Jared. I may even see if I can get him to comment. Uh, leave a comment down there to let us know whether he sharpened it or if that's just the way it came. But, um, yeah, it's a cool little knife. 
it's got just a sly, what I like to call that, that Les George hump right here. It's not very big. There's a little bit of a thumb wrap with some jimping. Um, this thing is very, very pokey stabby. Um, as you can see, it's got a fine tip. I don't know how that fine tip is going to hold up, but, um, you know, I don't really think you're going to be hard use or tactically using this knife. As far as the ergos go, it, it feels good in hand. It's a good size. Um, I can feel the clip if I, if I apply some pressure, if I squeeze down a little bit, I can feel the clip some. However, like I said, this isn't a hard use knife, so I can't imagine, you know, me using it in a way that I really have to bear down and really push through um, any type of material, to be honest with you guys. This is just an EDC, opening your mail, opening your Amazon pocket uh, package, cutting a string off your shirt type uh, cutting tool. So, you know, I don't care that I can fill the pocket clip a little bit. Doesn't bother me at all. Probably not going to use it long enough to get a hot spot. But um, the, the main reason I wanted to make this video, though, is, guys, I can't find this knife available at any of the knife retailers yet. So I couldn't find a price. The only place I could find a price was on Real Steel's website. And on Real Steel's website, they've had this knife priced at $89. And uh, I literally nearly spit my water out when I read that. $89. Guys, I would have a hard time believing that they're going to try to ask $89 for this. But even if they get close to that, even if they knock it down to $69, um, it makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, I think this is a fine $40. I'm, I'll say $45 knife. And the only reason I'm going to say that is because it's, it's an Axis Lock. Axis Lock is the latest Rage. Um, you know, it does have this... I, what I'm considering new technology in this integral liner. Um, so maybe that would make it worth 45, but I mean, let's face it guys, Gonzo has been making that probably that exact same lock, probably out of the exact same bin with the exact same parts for 10 years. So yeah, I think it's a $45 knife tops. Um, I would feel better somewhere around 37, 38 bucks. I don't know what they're going to ask for it. But, um, you know, the jury's still out on whether or not it's a value or whether or not you could even consider it a budget knife, depending on how far they come off that $89 MSRP. Um, I would not recommend it at $89. And one thing about this knife, because it is smaller, you can cup it into your hand and engage the access lock and drop that blade. I did that one time, and that's where I bled. That tip is very huge, very sharp. Um, that is one downfall to this thing. If you try to drop it into your hand like that, it is going to cut. It is going to cut you. As you can see, they got every bit of real estate for blade length out of this handle they possibly could. You know, any further, and you could probably catch it with your finger without trying very hard. You can see how close I am there. Um, yeah, so a lot of blade packed into this little short handle. And that does create an issue if you try to drop it shut. It's going to fall on the mid of your hand, and it will cut you. Or at least this one will. Like I said, I don't know if uh, that's the factory edge or something Jared did. But, um, yeah, anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. This was the Real Steel Sakura. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with this knife yet. May do a giveaway on it one day. Not sure. But um, you guys know I appreciate any amount of time y'all spend with me. That's all I got for you for y'all today. Peace. Love y'all.